To kick off March of the Lich King, I've got a deck that's nearly as sick as I am, starring the new druid legendary Anubrakan. This minion gives us 8 armor, and says for the rest of the turn our minions cost armor instead of mana. So we want to combine this with Druid's quest reward, Guff the Tough, which gives our hero plus 8 attack and 8 armor, and that 8 armor is basically mana because of the Anubricon. So we want to combine this with Bran and Zola, so we go Anubricon, Bran, Guff, Zola the Guff, and then we play two Guffs, which is like a total of 6 Guffs because of Bran, which deals 48 damage to the opponent. I think there's a good chance my mage opponent is also trying to do some OTK stuff. Oh, we love Guff. Renathal. Okay, there's no way that my opponent's playing Renathal alongside Arcane Bolt stuff. What else could the mage be playing? Could just be Big Spell Mage. Or Skeleton Mage. Maybe they're playing the new Legendary that's like Tess. I got one out of four on my quest, but I'm probably gaining four next turn, so it didn't really matter. Living Seed draws into Park Panther. Probably just do this. Activate the Seaweed Strike, so now it gives me 4 power. So next turn could just be Hero Power plus Seaweed Strike. Double Wildfire plus Coin is pretty strong. I guess I'll just send my 5 damage face. I probably don't really need it, but I also don't mind the treasure guard taking some damage, so I can draw a card off of it. Good ol' 5 damage hero power. Okay, there's a Nubricon. Jeremy Carpenter does draw the Cold Tooth Mine, which now draws like School Teacher or Park Panther, I guess. Not super impressive, but not too bad either. And there is Feral Rage. So I have what I need for my quest, I just need to find Bran and Zola. And I do have to avoid being frozen. Okay, there's Zola. Living Seed next turn gives me an extra discount, so I'll hold it for that. Lowest cost card is Aquatic Form. Aquatic Form gives me... None of these are too exciting. It's like the Attorney, I guess. Alright, I think this is fine. So without Bran, my combo only does 16 damage. So not very impressive. No wave can save the ship. Six armor should be Blizzard or Deathborn. Hey, it's Bran. 
Um, I can't go off this turn, right? Because I need to uh, gain the six power. So next turn I can go, I can play Feral Rage and go off with an Ubercon. Maybe I'm happy to just do that next turn so my opponent isn't, uh, isn't like super excited to play Mutanus or Theatar or something here, which they would be if I had my quest reward in my hand. I don't think they can have 11 damage. Anubricon, Bran, Zola, Triple Guff is uh, six minions. This isn't going to be lethal, but I think I have to go for it. I gain a ton of armor doing this. I don't think I could have uh I could have like silenced this um and gotten three more damage, but I would have had to trade it off to be able to play another guff, so I couldn't go face with it. I don't think I had lethal there, but I may have. And now I have lethal with this guff unless it gets disrupted somehow. Solid alibi is somehow. But uh I do have guff double mark of the spike shell, so I think it's fine. This must be the way. School teacher's fine, I guess. Nobody messes with my friends. Pick me, pick me. High five. Uh how about I draw a card? They're probably going to need another solid alibi. I have enough damage to beat Ice Barrier. I'm supposed to keep an Ubercon. I can just keep Cold Tooth Mine and draw an Ubercon. So that. Oh, I guess I can. If I keep an Ubercon, then Cold Tooth Mine draws Guff. That's sick, right? Alright, give me the cuff. I could have gone Pounce Hero Power to kill this, but it's just a 1-3. I don't really think I need to. I guess I'll do this. I'm kind of worried that if I'm playing Park Panther next turn, it ends up being kind of a wasted Pounce. But I guess I should just be worried about not dying against Death Knight.
Park Panther could live here. That would be pretty sick. That's the one that gains corpses, okay. So I could play Guff here, but the hero power is really good this turn with Feral Rage. I think this is better. I'm not totally sure that it is, but I think it's better. Pounce is an extremely good draw. Now I just need to find Feral Rage or Seaweed Strike. Ran. So now I really just need Zola. And there she is. But now what I need is to finish the quest. Probably makes sense to just go off here. I do have Nagas to enable Seaweed Strike if I can find it. Okay, I might need to find Attorney at Maw at this point. So it'd be six total mana. That's fine. Or no, it's four total mana. Duh. Uh, I really don't need more mana. So let's just go school teacher. Mark of the Spike Shell is sick. With Mark of the Spike Shell, um, I can play the first guff without necessarily needing to combo with it. Three damage a turn. Well, let's see if Planted Evidence can give me what I need. Pounce does do it, right? So, let's just stay alive this turn. My opponent's showing 13. Yeah, 13's probably fine. Alright, that's fine. Not even that strong, even. Alright. Pounce. Pounce. Nubricon. Grand Guff. Zola the Guff. Guff, Guff. Let's draw some more Guffs, even though we can't play them. And I believe this is 52 damage. Got him. Nice try, Arthas. I do like the cards that give my hero attack. I don't know if Jerry Rig Carpenter is worth keeping in this deck. It does draw an Ubricon, but I can draw it later. All 
Alright, probably playing Feral Rage next turn. Maybe I play it this turn, though. No, there's just no reason. And I actually probably don't play it next turn either. Maybe I go Hero Power plus Pounce. Although, if I'm playing Guff soon, which I'm sure I am, then, uh... I don't know, giving up this hero power is kind of weird. Having the pounce for later is nice. I think this is fine. So this is double blood. Good to know. So I would like to find a Naga to go with my Seaweed Strike. I do have several draws for it. Oh, that's scary. Pounce is very nice. There's a Naga, not really the one I want. So I can go Jerry Rig Carpenter here, which will draw a Capture Cold Tooth Mine, which will draw Aquatic Form, which I can then use to find Zola. Maybe Park Panther is just good this turn, though. But I don't think I need to play it. Oh, that can draw Feral Rage. Okay, well, Feral Rage is actually probably better here. It just isn't what I was anticipating. And hey, it's Capture Cold Tooth Mine. Although now it's not split, so I have to choose between getting the aquatic form and uh, the new Bricon. I would like to silence this minion. It's very annoying. This one is also very annoying. Choose a minion, each friendly undead steals stats from it. Probably just want a Moonlight Guidance. So, I do have double Mark of the Spike Shell to go with this guff. So, uh, even if it's a while before I find Bran and Zola, I can just play it. Hey, it's a new Bricon. I guess I should just go ahead and play Moonlight Guidance here. This must be the way. Another Jerry. Eh, probably want the silence. Oh wow. 10 damage to kill my guy. And then 10 health. Draw my aquatic form. Draw my Zola. I probably should have just gone and guff Mark Silence here. Nobody messes with my friends. I will easily have mana to play Attorney at Maw on the Silence turn. Oh, that's bad. Um, I can still Bran Guff Zola. Just might need a bunch of mana. Oh wait, what did this eat from my deck? 
Just a treasure guard, okay. I'm definitely not in too comfortable of a spot here. This must be the way. Tiny seeds lead to vibrant growth. My client is Okay. Hand buff. Do you still have some armor here? Man, so few cards in my deck, actually. Let's go ahead and draw the Park Panther. I think double brand is pretty good actually. So with double brand, I can go brand guff Zola and then follow that with brand double guff. Yeah, I think that makes sense. And it also means I don't need that much mana. They are hand buffing. Who knows what secrets will uncover? Nobody messes with my friends. Let's draw a card. And sixteen damage. So I don't even need the other brand at the moment, but if they heal for a bit, then the brand would be good, obviously. Alright, well... I don't know if that was necessarily the most competitive looking demon or uh, death knight list. But it did give me some trouble, but I still managed to get there. <laughs>